What's up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at this application, this launcher that is a game changer. It's gonna give you a lot more options to customize what you're looking at, to edit your roles, to turn off certain settings. You can edit different categories. You can create different categories. So many options in here. I'm gonna break it down, show you how to install it, how to get to it, how to mess around with it. This will work for any Google TV device as well as the Nvidia Shield TV. All you need to do is install it and start messing around. So of course, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. All right, so on your on device or your Google TV device, you're gonna go to your applications. Once you get here, you're gonna go down and we're gonna search. All right, so this one is called Projectivity. Let me see if I can spell it correctly on the first try. All right, so that should be enough. Let's search and see if we can find it. All right, so there it is, Projectivity. I'm gonna go ahead and click on it. We're gonna, of course, install it. Again, you can see the ratings there. This is a 4.6 out of five, so really high rating so far. So once we install it, we're gonna go ahead and launch it. All right, so. Some basic instructions, um, smooth, neat, customizable, bundled with unique features. All right, it's gonna tell you your new superpower, launch app via HDMI out, multiple display profiles, parental control, different patterns. So some of the features there, let's get accessible. All right, permissions is gonna be needed. We're gonna go ahead and click allow. Grant permission, special permissions, click yes. All right, so you can see I did a, a video on the button mapper, I think about two days ago, a lot of you guys were asking about um, just remapping the Netflix, Paramount, Disney Plus buttons on the new on 4K Plus, so definitely check that video out if you haven't done so already. All right, so what we're looking for here is Projectivity Launcher. Go ahead and turn that on. We're gonna hit back. All right, we're gonna report anonymous bugs and we're gonna go ahead and get started. All right, so here we are in projectivity. And first thing I notice, it just looks really good overall. It tells you that launcher accessible service to unleash full potential that we should consider enabling it. And we'll go through the settings and, and kind of check out what we have in a little bit. So first thing you notice, I, I don't have any ads, I don't have any um, recommendations I don't have any of this stuff this really cleans it up guys so first line is gonna be applications all right so these are the applications that I have installed and we'll play with those here in a little bit I'm gonna have what's up next stuff from Pluto from Netflix we have our settings all right we do have our display profile. So with this menu, you can create, manage video display profiles here. So you can bind them to input sources, automatic um, inputs and so on and so forth. So this is a really cool option. Maybe we'll do a deeper dive um, on this. So let's go ahead and we'll click on it. All right, so default profile. All right, so we can go ahead and play with the previews, the full screen preview, no picture managed loaded. So just different things you can do um, just to customize that display. Like I said, we'll probably do a deeper dive into it. We do have the option to install for third-party applications. So if we click on that, you're gonna have a couple options here. You can custom URL, local send, download via AFTV news, a lot of different options here. So even with this guys, you're gonna have faster way to get to that third-party application um, or to get that third-party application installed. We have our system, accessibility, Google Home. So if you click on that, it's just gonna verify your information and then you can go ahead and start using those features. About, premium, there's a premium version. Let's see, we can see what the differences are. So if you like this app and you want to support future development, continue to Google Play to activate it for $7.49. On the next screen, you'll be free to accept or exit if you change your mind. So I'll have to look into that to see what the premium features are, but that's not all of it, guys. If you go to the left on your screen, you can see you can edit some of these things. You click on these settings, you can change the title, you can change the icons, you can change visibility, so you can literally turn it off. So anything that's on that main screen, you don't 
actually have to have. <laughs> um, you can do a grid. So you do have that option to make it a grid and then you can kind of determine how many things you want to see. All right, so pretty cool. You can put all the applications there. You can turn the titles on and off. You can change the sizes. So you can make it bigger, smaller. You can sort differently. So custom, alphabetical, you can sort by last use, which I'm usually a fan of, but this looks really good. You can see my TV apps all the way up here. And there's an option to change the background. We'll get into that here in a little bit. So you'll have that option for all of them. So for this one, for instance, let's go to our settings and see. So the title of this one is watch next. All right, you can see we have it as a grid, but we can go ahead and change that. We can also change how many cards we have, automatic, size, everything else is there. All right, so you're gonna have all that option on, on all of them for the most part. But also what you can do, guys, you can move these rows up and down. So for instance, if I want this to be my second or third row, I click on it, go over, go over again, click on that. Now I have that option to kind of move it up and down. So pretty cool. Let's say I wanted this at the bottom, I can go ahead and do so leave it there so pretty cool we do have a ton of options let's go up to our settings and see what else we can do so we do have two notifications there we can check the button mapper we're not gonna mess with that right now but let's go to our settings and see what we have so we do have all apps all right so you can get into your applications there you can edit your categories again uh, this is kind of what we were doing before but this just gives you a more condensed version of well, how you can change the different categories same thing with the channels you can edit these channels different sources essentially launch your settings if i click on that on the general you got your language option your override anonymous report check for updates you do have your power options as well all right so you auto start so if you wanted to boot directly into this, you can go ahead and set this to the default. Parental controls, remote controls, all of this is pretty self-explanatory. Android settings, let's click on that. All right, it's just gonna bring you the default settings. Option to adjust my picture. There go the display profiles, accessibility, Google Smart Home. So these are all the different settings that we played with. And also you have the option to um, change your wallpaper hit next you can go through different source options all these are from reddit so um let's see this one is going to be italy and you can set it as your wallpaper but for me i do like the random um artwork that that normally goes in before we wrap this up just want to show you how to make an all new category just with the stuff that you want in there well that way you don't have to mess with whatever else is in place so we go to our settings Go to edit categories and again we already talked about these these can be hidden these can be deleted you have full option to customize this how you want but let's say i wanted to make a new category i'm going to click new all right i'm going to select the title let's say i want to name this stuff all right so stuff is there i can change the icon i can do from a pack or i can do from a picture let's see what packs they have so that's a premium feature so i'm just going to leave that there all right so there's stuff and go back into it so right now i can make it visible i can make it not visible and also i can play with some of the different options and the row options so what's inside stuff so this is where i get to go in so if i want to use this as something that i use as my toolbox i can say okay Let's put in 3 Mark, Ida 64, and a Liddy, Button Mapper, File Manager. I'm gonna leave the streaming applications out of this. I'm also gonna put my setting in here, and then I'm gonna leave that as is. I'm gonna go back out. All right, so you can see stuff is right here now. So now I probably wanna move this a little bit. Maybe move this down under here all right any one of these i can turn off i can edit i can make invisible if i wanted to clean this up a lot i'll go up here i'll go to my categories let's say display i want to turn that off i want that to be invisible make that disappear applications i'm going to leave on about let's say i want that to be off as well turn that off 
settings i'm going to leave settings system do i need that to be on when i have my settings let's turn that off as well all right so now i should have a lot cleaner interface here just a couple rows and uh, of course to get out of this all you got to do is hit the home button now you're back in the original google interface to get back into it you just find the application projectivity click on it and you're back where you left off so let me know what you guys think in the comment section this is game changer in my opinion this gives you so many options to customize what you're looking at your displays your applications to install third-party applications this is one of those apps that's a must have in my opinion of course if you're new to the channel subscribe smash the notification bell thank you for watching and i'll catch you on the next one